Hello students, welcome back in the online classes. This is subject EVS. Children, as you know that we have completed our lesson number 8. And in previous lecture, we have completed workbook writing too. So today we are going to learn the next lesson. Where does water come from? Children, in this lesson, we are going to get the information about the water. We in, in previous lecture, we have seen that. What is the need of water? But now question arises, where does water come from? Okay, so today we are going to find out from where the water comes. Okay, so children, in the picture, you can see. What is it? It's rain. Okay, it's raining. Correct. So, it's raining. So, let me tell you what is the answer of the question. Where does all this water come from? And the answer to this question is rain. Okay, all the water that we get comes from the rain. Okay, don't forget. Okay, what is the answer? All the water that we get comes from the rain. When it rains, some water flows over the ground, giving rise to rivulets, streams and rivers. Children, you can see in the picture. When it's raining, after that, the water flows over the ground. It comes on the ground and starts to flow on the ground. After Coming on the ground, it it gives rise to rivulets. Now, what is mean by rivulets? You can see in the picture. This is called as rivulets. Rivulets means what? Small a small flow of the water. You can see on the roads and on the ground also. Small rivulets of the water forms. Then streams. Streams are little bigger than rivulets. After, when many rivulets come together, it give rise, gives rise to streams. Okay. And you know, when many streams comes together and give rise to rivers. Okay. So there is a formation of the rivers. So what is mean by rivulet and what is my mean by stream and what is mean by river? That you can understand. Okay. You can see these pictures. Some water collects in low lying areas. Do you know? Thus lakes are formed. So what about the water which is not flowing with the river? Okay. Water comes on the ground. Sometimes when there is a low lying areas. Okay. Little deep areas. Their water comes and it get collects there. Okay. It get collects in low lying areas and there is a formation of lake. Okay. You can see this is lake. It's a formation of the lake. A flowing river is sometimes blocked by building a wall. Okay. Sometimes when a flowing river is blocked by building a wall on that river, this wall is nothing but dam. You know, you have seen dams on the rivers. Okay, there is good purpose of this dam actually. Why we build the dams on the river? Because we want to collect the water. Okay, water is flowing through the river and at last the river will go and will meet in the sea. The sea water is not useful for us. Correct. So, if we collect the water in the rainy season, if we collect the water in the dam, we can use it in the summer season. So, that's why the dams are built on the river. Okay. How the dams are built on the river? By, bu by building a wall on the river. Okay. Some rainwater sips into the ground. Then, what happens with the water which is not uh, going with the river, which is not uh, blocked by the dam or which is not in the lake? Okay, remaining water which is uh, fallen down on the ground, it seeps into the ground. Okay, in the last lecture I told you what is mean by seeps. 
seeps into the ground means goes inside the ground in the soil to obtain this water we dig wells this water can also be you be taken out by using hand pumps and bore wells so some water seeps into the ground goes inside the gr- ground so when we want to get that water from the ground we dig wells then we can use hand pumps bore wells these are the means through which we can get the ground water for our use sometimes water in the ground comes out in the form of springs also one more form of the water uh, we can say springs okay sometimes water comes out from the ground and that is called as spring without the use of bore well or hand pump it comes out from the ground directly that is called as spring we will get the information about the spring more information about the spring in the next lecture don't worry what is mean by spring we will see but now you keep in mind that when the ground water comes out in the uh, comes out suddenly from the ground that is nothing but the spring some sources of water are formed naturally however places like wells and dams are man made okay some sources are formed naturally sometimes some natural lakes you can see but some wells dams these are man made things we make them we build them okay if rainfall decreases the water stored in this places also decreases if there is rest, less rainfall the water in these dams will decrease okay if there is more rain that year you will find more water in the dams in the bore wells correct you can see such a water sources in your locality also in your taluka in your district you can find dams rivers lakes am i right so children just listen this video carefully then you will understand what are the things from where we are getting water and what is mean by dam what is mean by river rivulets streams everything okay so tomorrow we will continue with the same lesson and we'll get more information about the water okay thank you